everybody, everybody ain't built like us, man. No, everybody, no. Everybody ain't, everybody ain't built like us, man. But we trying to get them there. I'm trying to get them there. So, did the online training. So, what what was that first step that made you want to get your your gym? Oh, your first the first location. Um. So, okay. The reason I opened up a women only gym is because to one to kill a lot of the stigmas that we see. That I'm sorry, real quick. Yeah, real quick. Women be complaining about uh, when we say they shouldn't have their ass out in the gym, right? They come, they get mad. Okay. They come to the gym with their butt cheeks. People are like, yo, wear some regular clothes. Wear your shorts. Wear okay. your leggings. Wear your even if you want to wear the leggings that's up your ass crack. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, All right. That's fair. Women not doing that in the women's only gym. So stop getting mad at men for saying that. The women don't want to see that shit either. Sorry to cut yeah, you off, yeah. but I just had I know in your gym yeah. that shit don't happen either. Yeah. No, and I will say I will say, and and I and I don't get it because like I I am a. Uh, love love your body at every stage. So like, I do encourage women to come too. in. Yeah, I do encourage women to come in. Come in with your two piece set yeah. because I feel like when you feel like you look good, you work hard. Exactly. But there's there's a fine line. Yeah. There's a fine line between wearing your shorts and your low body suits. Yep. And I can see your cuff. I don't need to see your cuff. I don't need to see, I, like, have the whole ass covered. If you want to have the, the leg out, that's cool. But I don't need to see some of your butt Because if we, if we you have a, ladies, RBS. if you have a fat ass, it's clear that you have a fat right, ass. Right. We the whole gym see it. We see it. We know what's going on we back see there. It. Okay. And 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 in my gym, we gonna call it out. If you dragging a wagon, you know what I'm saying? We walk around, we talk about it. We love that it's, for it's, you. It's noticeable. We love that for okay. you. But like it's a it's a very fine line between loving your body and showing off what you work for. Because you know me, I work out in shorts all year round. Yeah. You're not gonna see me in pants. I don't wear pants because I lift too damn heavy. You're gonna see my legs. And it's nothing wrong with that. And, but 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 I'm also <laughs> Everything that need to be covered is gonna be covered. Yep. All of my essentials, they are gonna be covered. Thank up. you. They are gonna be covered up. So yeah, yeah. Because if I come in the gym with certain stuff showing, I'm going to jail. I'm getting arrested. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. it, yeah. So also, and I do think like because we joke. I mean, we joke on men, like because men can wear stringers, but like we don't need we don't need to see your pants. Yeah, we don't need to see now. Nah, we don't need to see. Yeah, your like pets. If, if yeah, exactly. So it's like we and and that's why like there we hold men to those same standard because I know I think it's I low key think it's corny when I see a whole bunch of niggas in the summertime at Richie working out with their shirts off. It like is corny. And, you, and we're not you're not supposed to do that. Right. Like, there probably isn't a manager present, but if the manager was there, he would go up to them and be like, "Yo, put y'all shirts." Yeah, on. Yeah, like, you can wear a tank. We can see. We can still see your biceps. Yeah. and we can still see your shoulders. And it's like, not gonna make her like you more if you have your shirt off, bro. Please, like, please. You still, you still a cornball. That's what we need. You still corny. About. You still corny as shit. Oh, we gonna get there. <laughs> we gonna get there. You still a fucking cornball. Right. Don't get me started on these men in the fitness industry, oh, bro. God, like man. I say, y'all see me do my podcast alone most of the time for, for a reason. <laughs> um, but back to the oh no, no okay, go, yeah, where were we? Were we about to say know, something? Where, no, I don't know. Where I was we at? back to opening the first location. The Sorry, opening I had to get gym. that off my chest. Opening the gym. Um, so it was a few reasons I opened my gym. Um, um, because you know I used to have another gym. I did have a gym that was co-ed, and it was never my vision. Like that was I, before you moved here. No, no, no. So remember, I had muscle and fluff. And then oh, I no, have her, her I And this is why I say okay. it's never be afraid to rebrand. Let's talk about that. But never be afraid to rebrand right. because if if you feel like you have a certain purpose in life, um, follow that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I did have another gym um, before my gym and it was co-ed. Um, and I was noticing that women were still having some of the same problems, even though it was a boutique intimate gym, they were still having the, some of the same issues that they were struggling with in like a conventional gym, like a goals gym or a lifestyle fitness or whatever, what a lifetime, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, like so, what? uh, so the main thing of course, well, one being a cat call, like that's corny. Like I, that there's was a happening in your gym. You, oh wow! And that's what I'm saying. Like men, <laughs> men gonna be men wherever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, men gonna right. do what men do. So it's like you know, one, I open it so that women don't necessarily have to worry about being catcalled. Two, I open the gym because I'm a firm believer in women learning how to properly lift. Like, yeah, cardio is important. Getting your daily steps in is important, but also women of color specifically, um, in order for us to keep the curves we want and get rid of that unwanted body fat, there's certain things that you need to be doing in the gym each week. So like I said, when I first started lifting or when I first started working out, I was like every other woman. I was going on and I was doing an hour on the treadmill. I'm doing, after I'm doing the treadmill, I'm doing Stairmaster. It's just <laughs> wasting time, wasting time. And you get you lose your curves that way. But then when you try to motivate women to go to the weightlifting section, I know like a few of my online clients 
Um, I usually start them out with like dumbbell only workouts mm -hmm. until they build up their confidence. And cause they're like, oh no, I can't go over to like the, the barbell section with all those men. I can't go over there with the machines. So usually it's like a process for me. I start mm -hmm. women out with like the dumbbells. We build up your confidence with the dumbbells. Sis, if you want to find you a little spot in the gym where you get your little workout in. Okay. Um, and, but then after that, we're going to build that confidence because women can bench press too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like women can row too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Really, I opened up the gym so that we could eliminate all of that. I don't know why girls be so scared of bench press because I, I, I'm about to get started. The, the, the podcast that was a warm up. We about to start now. We about to, we about to, I don't know why women be scared of bench press because it's like, look at the overweight women and men with big backs, mm -hmm. big chests, big shoulders that got big from eating. Yeah, right. They didn't get big from lifting. Yeah. So I don't know why you think you about to come in there. Lifting the bar with fives and tens on it and think well, you about think, to get a big back all of a sudden. I think too, I think too, it goes back to a lot of women be intimidated by it. Because like I'll ask women too, like, like if women see me bench pressing like 135 or something, they'll be like, I could never. And I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. And like they'll you come ain't in start there, off like that. I did not start off that yeah. way. So it's like, you know, but when you see Joe next to you bench pressing 315, it can be a little scary. Yeah, it can yeah, be a little no, scary. I get that. I get so that. I think too, it's just like realizing like you also need to do these exercises, but you're not going to come right out the gate bench pressing mm -hmm. 95, 115, 125. We have to work you up to that. Yep. And that was why I opened up the gym, because if you see that there are other women in here, just women that I do have some women in there bench pressing 135, 155. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They didn't start out that way, though. Those are my clients that have been with me for two plus years. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you realize that, two, this is important for you, we can work you up to that, sis. But one, you got to stop being scary. Yep. You got to stop being scary. Get under the bar and press it. Yeah. And we will we will get that strength. We will build that strength from there. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's really why I opened it. It's just so women could do the exercises that they needed to do um and build that community because mm -hmm. I think too, like women will go in the gym, um, in conventional gyms, and sure they'll have their girl, but like sis, if your best friend is not gonna come with you to the gym, don't let that stop you. Like, if you and your girl started out working out together, everybody's goals aren't the same. Mm -hmm. So if sis was just working out for Jamaica, but you was working out so that you could lose 30 plus pounds, don't let that deter you from going into the gym by yourself. And I'm going to say one thing, too. Like, when you start working out, you start getting in shape, taking your fitness seriously, your friend group is probably going to change. change. It will. You're probably going to lose some friends or the re relationship might fall off. Yeah. And you're going to make some new friends. Mm -hmm. You're going to have some gym friends. Yeah. You and know? you will make gym friends. You're you're definitely going to make, gym, make friends gym friends because it's people in the gym that are into the same stuff you into. Mm -hmm. you and know? then if they see you frequently enough, at the end of the day, I'm not going to see you four times a week and not give you a hug. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. You're going to start seeing familiar faces in the gym and it might start out with how many sets left. And then the next, and then a few months later is, do you want to work out together yep. on Thursday? You want to train legs together on Thursday? Yep. You know what I'm saying? So like you start to build that community, the more frequently you go. And that's another reason why I opened the gym so that you already have that community there you already have yep. everybody in there we all working towards the same thing we mm -hmm. might have some girls that's trying to grow we might have some girls that's trying to lose but at the end of the day we all are coming in there to better ourselves Absolutely. so like we trying to foster that community mm -hmm. and even if it's not at my gym you will go into a goals gym and you will find friends you gonna definitely at goals yeah because girl everybody in there like to talk definitely a little too much but everybody in there like to talk Nevertheless, I'm, I'm one of them, but I don't, not too much. Not when I'm working out. You're not out. too much. You're not like, too much. You're yeah. not too much. I'm going to say what I, I'm going to talk my trash and keep it moving. Right. And they keep, if only everybody could understand that. Yeah. I hate when I'm working out and I got to take, every time I see you, I have to take my headphones off, stop my workout. You tell a corny ass joke. I'm in, I'm in beast mode right now, bro. Like I'm not, and you probably do you know. Want, do, to be honest, there are people I avoid in the yeah, okay. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. I yeah, will. Sure. If I see somebody over near a machine that I know I'm about to use, I will switch my, switch my, the whole, my programming up whole a little bit. Program. Like what I'm supposed to end with, I'll go over there and I'll do that because some people take it a little too far. Too much. Like we don't need to be talking unless we are workout friends. Yeah. And we train together. To or where I we know can you like that. Sets. Right. I know you like you really one of the homies for real. But if you're not one of the homies, because and how many times you gonna say some? Oh my God! The most common thing I get in the gym is uh, when somebody trying to talk to me is, oh, that's uh, that's uh, sexual discrimination that women on the gym you got. Sir, we don't gotta talk about this every time. Oh my! 
Yeah. When you when you gonna start let <laughs> when you gonna start letting men come in or or what? or or <laughs> what if there was a men only gym? First of all, that's how these got started. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Gold's gym is for men. Let's be real. So I'm sorry that I created a safe space for the girls. Okay, but we I'm just saying we don't need to keep having that conversation, sir. <laughs> Down the Marco, Marco. Okay, and we, Damn. and we moving on. And we moving on. And anybody that sees me at Ghost Gym next time, just know we can talk about something else. Okay. No, nah, I feel that. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you said that. I just had to get it off my chest because every time I go in, I got to take my, to pause my headphones, yeah. turn my song off. So, so how's it going? Like, oh, you decided to let men in yet? No, I haven't. We're doing just fine. Men, men, and men do it. This is another thing, too, about these corny ass fitness people being in the gym with their shirt off. Men are gonna be the ones to compliment you. Like girls not coming up to you in the gym with your shirt off. Yeah. But men be coming up. I'm trying to get like yeah, you, bro. bro. You look I'm trying today. to get like you. Like you look swole today. You gonna say this shit every day, every bro? Time. Like come on, man. I know. Like, I know. I know. And that's what it is. It's just a sausage fest of just men complimenting men in there. And it's like let's just live. Let's just let them go. We are gonna dap up, lift, go home. It's not happening. That goes. It man. doesn't. It's not happening. But. All right. Listen, ladies. If you heard in the beginning of the podcast, Maya says she got PCOS, mm -hmm. which means she works out on her cycle. Yes. She hits her goals on her cycle. Uh -huh. She don't let it stop her. Uh -uh. So a lot of women just tell me, you know, I'm 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 a man. I don't have a period. I couldn't handle cramps. So I don't know what I'm talking about when I'm telling them like, yo, you still got to, even if you don't do my workout and you got severe cramps, uh -huh. you know, do something, walk on the treadmill, do something to keep those goals going. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So that, that, that is true. So still work out, but you don't necessarily have to work out at the same intensity. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think that's where a lot of women, they, what deters them from working out on their cycle is they like, I can't go in and I, I can't lift all these, modify your workout. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be the same level of intensity because I do understand, like I get cramps too, mm -hmm. but also let's talk about how when you work out consistently enough on your cycle, it reduces the intensity of those cramps. It does. It does. Monk, go, it does. Monk, For those of us with PCOS, it can also help regulate your cycle because, you know, with PCOS, you do run into those issues with having an irregular cycle. Mm -hmm. I having PCOS, I, my cycle has been regular for years because I have learned how to train my body when I'm on my cycle and what things need to change. You don't need to go in there. If you're a heavy runner, you don't need to go in there and be on a treadmill for that long. Modify the intensity of your workouts, but don't stop moving your body mm -hmm. because that's where you go wrong. And, you know, yeah, like the, the, and a lot of them get discouraged because, you know, you're more bloated and all that. Well, that's when you have to realize that, okay, even though I'm more bloated, this is how I look for this week. Yeah. This does not mean that all of your progress in the gym over the last month has just gone to shit. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. Sis. Your cycle come around the same time every month. You bloat it at the same time yep. every month. Y'all got to stop letting that be a mind fuck for y'all. Y'all yeah. have to start realizing, wear an extra shirt. Wear a t-shirt that week. Yeah. Wear your t-shirt that week and, and still lift your weight. It doesn't mean you became a, a fat fuck because you're bloated for a couple of days yeah. or for a week. Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like A lot of girls look at it like, like they're regressing, with, yeah. you know, with, and, and, and you are not, goals. you're not regressing. It's just, you know, if you see that and because in a lot of times what I try to explain to women is when you see the scale change when you're on, on your cycle is because we hold on to more water on our cycle. You're retaining more water. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times that three to five pounds that you're seeing on the scale, that's water. Mm -hmm. Once your cycle is over, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So you have to stop thinking like, oh, all my progress is gone and shit. Where you start gaining more than five pounds on your cycle is when you're giving into those sweet treats. But they have cravings. They have to satisfy their cravings. <sighs> yeah. And then, so, so with that, right? There's ways to get around that. So like I tell people, if you got a real sweet tooth, a real bad sweet tooth, because I like sweets too. If you're like, a, I need some sweet at night type person, let's switch to some fruit. Let's do some pineapple with some sugar-free chocolate syrup on it. Very macro friendly, very sweet. It will help curb that craving, right? They, but they said that's eating like a bird. Man, come on. <laughs> Not if you're getting all your meals in. You know what I'm saying? Not if you're still getting your breakfast, lunch, dinner, your snacks in. But they, they said that eating five times a day is too much food. See, Chris, you trying to get me. 
Chris trying to give me But that buffet food. ain't too much food. Okay, yeah. But that Felipe Chow ain't too much okay, food. That Ruth Chris Steakhouse, that Mastro's ain't too much food. The bottomless brunch. The bottomless brunch. That's never Eating too much 2, food. Eating a 2,000-calorie meal, spending all this money on it. But what they don't realize, though, move your body more. If it seems like too much food, you know how we can we can speed up that lift, metabolism? Lift heavier. Lift heavier. Set a daily step goal. Make mm -hmm. sure you're moving your body. And the reason why so many people feel like eating five times a day is too much is because they sit down on a, on a couch teleworking all day. Everybody, everybody ain't built like us, man. No, you know. Everybody ain't, everybody ain't built like us, man. But we trying like to us, get man. them there. I'm you know trying to get them there.